Norval. You sure have a big appetite for such a small dog. Wake up, Daffodil. I brought you a nice, juicy carrot. <sighs> okay, Sleepy Rabbit. I've got to get ready for school. Good morning there, Little Red. <laughs> Hiya, Norval. Is this a lovely day or what? The sun is shining, the birds are singing. I wish I could sing like a bird. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> but you are a bird, Norval. Yeah, but I'm not a songbird. What's the difference? If you like to sing and it makes you feel good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, do you really think so, dear pup? Oh, sure I do. Who cares if you're not a songbird? If you like to sing, you should sing. Okay, then. Here I go. But you know, but you know, I don't know that many songs. Phew. Hmm. Hey, I have a big idea. You can make them up. Hey, you know you're right there, you little redness. All right, then. <clears throat> Here goes. I'll sing in the morning. I'll sing in the night. I'll sing from the treetops with all of my might. So what do you think there, pup? Wow. You can really sing loud, Norval. Thanks. And I was just warming up. Oh, there's a lot more where that came from. <sighs> On top of the rooftop, all covered with plants, I'll sing from the bird bath, and I'll sing to the ants. Hi, ants. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm awake now. <laughs> Can you do this? I'll give it a try. Can you do this? I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> that was fun. Careful now. Easy does it. We're halfway there. La 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 la. La 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 la. la. What was that? I don't know. But it sure is loud. It's normal. La, 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 la. What? La, la, it's la, la, Norville la, la, la. singing. La, 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 la. Wow, I can't believe that's Norville. La, 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 well, I kind of told him that if he likes to sing, then he should sing. He sure is loud. I know. It's even louder downstairs. We came up here hoping that it would be quiet and I could eat my breakfast in peace. I just ate a worm. Oh, what a delight. My tummy is full now. I can't eat a bite. <sighs> Time for a siesta. To fly. To fly way up. <gasps> I feel like What's an that? aeroplane. Way up in the sky. Hello to you, or hey, I'm singing my best. Hey, what are you doing? I am trying to rest. You know, oh, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna sing you a lullaby. So close your eyes, or hey, and fall fast asleep. I'll send you to dreamland while you count some sheep. La 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 la. La, 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 la. I sing about singing. I sing just because. I sing about ketchup and Clifford's red paws. He's been singing like that all day long. I couldn't take my siesta. He was too loud. 
Right. Somebody has to say something to him about singing all the time. Well, I don't know, guys. We wouldn't want to hurt Norval's feelings or anything. And this goes out to my favorite little red puppy. This one's for Clifford. He told me to sing. I only know one tune, but it has a nice ring. I say we all talk to Norval. Okay, sure. Anything for a little peace and quiet. Really, guys, I don't think that's such a good idea. It might make Norval sad. But all his singing is making us sad. And Clifford, we have to be honest with him. Yeah, if we tell him the truth in a nice way, I'm sure he'll understand. Right! I mean, it's not like we're telling him he can't sing ever. Just not all the time. Well, maybe I should just talk to Norval myself. That way it'll be just the two of us. Yeah! Right! Hello from the seesaw! Hello, all my friends! I'll sing you a new song, a song without end! Uh, we gotta go! Bye! Uh, me too! Uh, what's with them? Uh, well, um, I don't know. Well, you know, maybe they were worried uh, that it was going to rain. But not me, because I'll uh, sing Clifford, in the rain. I think maybe now I'll is a good time pours, for you to talk with Norval. And then when the rain stops, we'll all make some more. Norval! Hey, what's up, pup? Um, maybe, well, maybe you should give your voice a rest. You don't want to wear it out. Sure, sure. I could do that. Oh, <laughs> good. But I feel like singing. But sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes, um, well, it's just that I know singing makes you really happy, and and that's great. And uh, well, you practice all the time to make sure you get the songs right. Oh, oh yeah. I I, I think I understand what you're saying. You do? Sure. Sure. If I want a song to be really right, I've got to practice more. Huh. Yeah, right. Practice. But... Hey, thanks, Little Red. Oh, that is great advice. A five, six, seven, eight. Practice makes perfect. So that's what I'll do. Oh, many thanks, Little Clifford. My red friend who's true blue. Yeah, you're welcome, Norval. Is everyone all tucked in and ready for a good night's sleep? <sighs> what about you, Clifford? Oh. Good night, Clifford. Good night, Daffodil. Back, 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 back,
Just not when it's gonna disturb anyone else. Like not during a game of follow the leader? And not during a siesta. And not during breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Well, I guess I really did disturb everybody. I mean, you know, I, I really should have thought about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, maybe I should just give it up after all. No, Narvel. There must be some time that you could sing. You think? I sing at the right time and not all day long. Like a great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Terrific Tour. One morning, Reba was showing the gang a great book that had pictures of exotic places all over the world. The gang wished they could visit such exciting places. Then Speckle said they could. All they needed was a little bit of help from their imaginations. Speckle pretended he was their conductor and collected everyone's tickets. And once they were seated on the travel train, the tour began. At their first stop, Darnell pointed out a beautiful house in the sky. Robbie and Luna were amazed by the wild sea creature they passed. And Reba loved exploring the untamed jungle and discovering its lovely surprises. When the trip was over, there was only one thing left to do, and that was to thank the conductor for taking them on such a terrific tour. The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. Ruff.